In your neighborhood or maybe somewhere in your community, there is very likely a family you're aware of who is really in need. Well, a six on your side consumer reporter Don Dare was called by a man in Jefferson County who was worried about his neighbor's well-being. Don. Yeah, and Kristen and Lori, it's different, isn't it, when people in need live close mm -hmm. by, real different then. You may drive by their house every day, see their plight, but if you don't know the family in need, often you do nothing. But if you're their neighbor, you see their house every day outside your window, that could be a different situation. This is your garden? Yep. People who live in Jake McKinney's neighborhood in Talbot are concerned about him and about his wife, Evelyn, who we see here walking with two canes. Their neighbor, James Boland, called Six on Your Side. Well, they need, she needs help, she does, and they both of them need help. They, they can't, I, me and my wife, we can't believe, you know, they living like this. Living conditions at the couple's home are bad. Their three-acre piece of property is filled with vehicles. Many of them don't run. There's also no running water or septic tank in the property. We talk with Evelyn about that. Where do you go to the bathroom when you're out here? In the woods, <laughs> away from people where they won't see you. Is that because you have no bathroom in the camper, no septic? There's a bathroom in it, but, uh, but it takes money to hook it up. Jake, who is 78 years old, says he and Evelyn have lived here for 18 years, but recently hit hard times. Their only shelter is this camper, but he says it leaks, so in the summer they live and sleep outside. You stay here under this tree most of the time. Most of the time. When it's warm, you can stay yeah. here. Yeah. When, when it's, it's cold, I go in one of them trucks or, or you, summer, sit down. You go into a truck when it's cold. Yeah. Their neighbor says he contacted Jefferson County in May about the couple's well-being. The health department, that man come out here, he was out here five minutes, never did get out of the vehicle. A police report was filed, but in six weeks, little had changed for the couple when we visited. They ain't been out here yet. How are you doing? I ain't doing so good. What's wrong, honey? My legs, my everything hurts. Evelyn says the pain starts in her foot and shoots all the way up her leg. She's seen no doctor recently, yet the sheriff's report urged someone to visit the 62-year-old. Has Adult Protective Services come out here at all in the last few weeks? No. They have not? No. How did it get so messy in your yard? We full of recycling stuff to live. You recycle stuff to live? Yeah. Jake says he hasn't sold much junk recently. He gets by with a meager Social Security disability check. Evelyn says she receives Social Security disability, but their two checks don't go very far. Alarming is the electrical hookup you see here in this pole. From the outlet, drop cords are connected to outdoor lights, to appliances like this refrigerator, hooked up outdoors. Jake admits he's been meaning to clean up the place, says he'd like to have water and septic, but doesn't have enough money to pay for it. Yeah, I worked on my life. This little rock pile here is all I got show for. Would you like someone to come out here and maybe help? Yeah, if somebody could help, I would. What sort of help would you like? Like from the, the help with anything they can help with. We learned about the plight of Jake McKinney and his wife Evelyn three weeks ago when their neighbor called. Believing they might not welcome the presence of our camera and some probing questions, we were surprised when they opened up. Many of you are as surprised as we were at their situation, and you've decided to help. Jake McKinney opened up the gate to his property the other day, so Glenn Dawkins, the pastor of a local church, could take a look at an old car Jake could possibly sell if they can get it running. Jake's place in Talbot is a mess. There are eight derelict vehicles, none of them running, spread out among the trash. Among the piles of junk, Jake and his wife Evelyn have collected over 18 years. Glenn Dawkins wants to help the couple. They're three miles away from our church and uh, devastating. I've been to uh, third world countries that I've never seen this kind of living conditions. This is your garden? Yep, that's it. It was three weeks ago when Jake first showed us around his place after we got a call from a concerned neighbor. Jake and his wife have no shelter, just this leaky camper where they go inside when it rains. Their refrigerator is outside, electrical power is drawn from this utility pole, and drop cords are scattered around the yard. Worst of all, they have no septic tank or hookup to a toilet. Where do you go to the bathroom when you're out here? In the woods, <laughs> away from people where they won't see you. 
Last month, Jake admitted he and Evelyn need assistance because they're both sick. However, they don't want to leave their place. For all my life, this is my life history. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can get you some help, okay? Mm -hmm. We'll see if we can't get you some help soon, okay? Okay, thank you. Ashton Smith of Captain Free Ministries spoke with Evelyn the other day. Ashton, with the help of her father and other church members, are leading the effort to assist the couple with some of their needs. We have a guy already willing to do the septic system for us. Um, we are also going to build a small house for them. Their first order of business, removing the junk from Jake's property. There is some value to a few vehicles that could be sold for scrap, and they finally did get that old car powered up. We do need the resources, the wood, the uh, materials to build the house, and um, also the materials to put in the septic system. We've got a lot of labor donated, which is wonderful, and that's great, and I'm, I appreciate the public's help. They want to help us, and I'm glad, they, I'm glad they, they found out about us. What do you think your living conditions will be like once you get a new home? Oh, it'd be nice. It'd be in paradise. Yeah. Paradise, he said. Work on the cleanup begins this week. It has honestly um, blessed my heart to know that the community is really coming together like this to, and willing to help. Now already several civic organizations have said they're going to assist Captive Free Ministries in their efforts to help Jake and Evelyn. When we first walked down this derelict, lonely road in June, looking for a couple who had been reported to us in desperate need of help, we didn't realize how desperate. While they own the property here, several acres, they were living on the edge of society and might as well have been homeless. Now, they don't have to worry about that anymore. Wow. Here's Jake McKinney walking inside his finished home for the first time. Yeah, it looks good. I love it. Yeah, looking right. It's been years since Jake and his wife have had a real roof over their heads. Although it's small, their new house has been a labor of love by a lot of volunteers. That's good. Jake was shown a bed and furnishings donated by strangers who had heard about his plight. Got your refrigerator? Yeah. Pastor Glenn Dawkins from Captive Free Ministries in Talbot spearheaded the drive to bring hope to the couple who six months ago were helpless. In Jake's home is a bathroom with all the conveniences, a hot water heater installed and purchased by a local plumber, a washer and dryer bought through donations, a kitchen table and chairs purchased by a family in Johnson City. There's a front porch on the 16 by 20 structure, even a back porch. Back in June when we first met, did you ever think this would happen? No, no, it's better than what I thought. I can't thank everybody enough for everybody that's came and helped. Pastor Dawkins says about 25 people have assisted in the project. It's all about Jake and Evelyn. It's not, doesn't have anything to do with what we do. We've done it out of love, as you said. Out of love is what we've done. We'll see if we can't get you some help soon, okay? Okay, thank you. It was Ashton Smith who first contacted Six on Your Side and spoke to Evelyn while her father explained to Jake the overall plan. In June, when we met the McKinney's, their kitchen was under a tree. Their shelter was a leaky camper that had no bathroom. They powered everything with an extension cord. Evelyn said there was no place to bathe and she'd welcome help if someone offered it. Within a few weeks, the property was cleared of debris. The plan by the church was underway. We have a guy already willing to do the septic system for us. Um, we are also going to build a small house for them. Come on. That small house is finished now. Evelyn's first look inside went beyond her expectations. It's pretty in here. From donations, the church has established a fund that will help pay the couple's utility bills. Still, there's more work to be done outside. We're bringing in uh, five loads of, of backfill dirt uh, to be able to level everything out and smooth everything over. Uh, and then we're going to put some topsoil, two loads of topsoil on everything so we can get us some good grass growing. Are you happy? Mm -hmm. It's yours. <laughs> Don't belong to nobody else. It belongs to you. For Jake, tears expresses gratitude. There's now promise of a better life. The church will continue its promise of watching over their welfare. Yes, their new home is blessed. Don Dare, WATE, six on your side.